we are going to walk you through over 50 case options for the brand new iPhone XS Max. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And the iPhone XS Max has a new size, which means you're starting from the ground floor and trying to find a new case. So we have gathered over 50 different options to help you make a decision. Starting off our list is one from Pad and Quill. Pad and Quill always uses amazing materials when crafting their products, whether it's Apple Watch bands or iPhone cases. This happens to be the Bella Fino leather iPhone XS Max case, and it comes in either black, whiskey, or chocolate. This happens to be the chocolate color with the deep sea blue on the inside. On the left of this folio, you'll see you have a little window for an ID and then several card slots and a cash pocket. Attaching your phone, you can use the included snap case that's already attached, or you can remove it and attach your phone directly to the 3M adhesive on the inside. Attaching your phone directly makes it a little bit thinner and you get to actually see the exterior of your phone not being in that snap shell case. Pat and Quill has several other iPhone XS Max cases available, including some made out of wood and some that are not so bulky. Our only downside with the folio is it does not automatically wake the phone when you open it like Apple's own folios do. Next up on our list is another really unique one from Kerf. They opt to use another natural material, wood. In this case, we're looking at walnut, but they've got a ton of others available. Cherry, maple, bullet wood, spalted walnut, purple hearts, tons of them for you to choose from. And on top of that, you can add some custom text or a custom image to that case. There are no seams here. It is cut out of one solid piece of wood. There are movable buttons, so they are wood buttons. You can actually press them and they move. And inside is that really ultra suede. It's really nice and soft feeling. It has that Kerf logo and will actually protect your phone when it's on the inside. If this is not enough for you and you want more durability, they also have a metal alloy case. It has metal around the edges with wood along the back. It's like replaceable back plates. They're really amazing. So if you like the build quality of this guy, definitely go check out their metal and wood ones as well. Rhino Shield goes all in on modularity. We have two distinct lineups of cases from Rhino Shield. We have the Mod NX, which are these basic frames that you see a lot. They're kind of what Rhino Shield is known for. And then we have their all-in-one cases, their solid suit line. We have two different models of those. They're a little bit less exciting, though they could be more protective depending on what you're looking for. Let's first take a look at those solid suit cases. Again, we have two different ones available, and they're made out of their proprietary shock spread polymer. So it's kind of like a rubbery feeling material, but it has a little bit more of a premium finish to it. But it's actually able to withstand drops from up to 11 feet, which is a little bit higher than most of our other ones that usually just go 3 to 10 feet. So these should get you about 11 feet of drop protection. They've got a really nice look to them. One has kind of like a softer feel to it. The other one has kind of that texture to it. Looks a little bit like, like carbon fiber, though it obviously isn't. Just gives it a little bit more of a premium feel to the normal snap-on cases. Moving on to those frames, these are what's really cool, what Rhino Shield is pretty much known for. These things are awesome, especially if you really want to kind of customize the look and feel of your case. The Mod NX is made out of a bunch of different parts. So there's this bumper here, there's a part of the bumper that actually comes off, the buttons themselves are removable, and then there's the back plates. So a bunch of different pieces that together make your case. It still offers good drop protection, everything like that, but it gives it a little bit more customizability. So let's take a look at a few of those different parts. As I mentioned, those buttons do come out really easily. Here's a pack of buttons you can pick up from Rhino Shield, a ton of different color options. You can make them all the same, make them different, kind of keep them the same as the bumper itself. Whatever you want to do, lots of different button choices. Here are different of the rims that can go on there. So if you just want to stick with the bumper, you don't want a back plate. You can change these rims out so they can all be the same. You can make them different colors. They can match your buttons on the sides. Whatever you're going to do, I can't show these on there because these are actually for the iPhone 10 and the 10s. So it's a little bit different size than the iPhone 10s Max, but you get the idea of how that can kind of be combined. As far as the back plates go, all the Mod NX come with a back plate. Here we just have a clear one. It just attaches easily to the bumper. Just kind of slides into place snaps in there really easily and then your phone just goes into the case like any other snap-on shell case both the mod nx there's also the just the, kind of the, the crass guard which is just the bumper portion of this mod case and then the ones we already looked at those solid suits all those work with rhino shields line of lenses as well so you've just a ton of different options 
Moving on, we have Senna. Senna makes amazing leather goods, and that's what we've got here, just a simple leather case. Going kind of for the traditional stuff, you don't like Apple's offerings. It's just a little bit different than Apple's leather cases, but still a lot of really nice accents going on. There's some really nice leather work overall. Little touches to detail that we really like, including kind of like this racing stripe interior. Looks very nice, classy, you're never gonna see it, but it's that attention to detail that we love Senna for. This one we're looking at right now is a kind of a worn in pebbled leather look. It's black, pretty simplistic. You can see those anodized metal buttons along the sides. This is just a very simple style that's probably gonna be most popular, someone who doesn't want anything too flashy. But Senna does have a bunch of other options, including sleeves for phones. There are folios, locking folios. There's a ton of different ones. There's ones with wallet integration. There's sleeves that they can slide into and much more vivid colors. There's a lot of like racing inspired ones that we've always loved and we've shown off in the past. So if you really like kind of just really nice leather cases and maybe some style to them, definitely go check out Senna's whole lineup of iPhone XS Max cases. Nomad has long been a favorite of ours and they've really upped their game with their latest round of cases. We have several different models here, the Rugged Folio, which now comes in black for the first time, a nice black leather. The Rugged Folio, the Rugged Tri-Folio, which is brand new for the latest phones. And then the really popular and most simple Rugged Case. Starting out, we'll look at the Rugged Folios. All of their products here are made out of Horween leather. It's a Chicago-based tannery. It's been around a long time and it's just some of the most amazing leather that we've seen. We really like the new black. I'm not sure which one I prefer more. I really want to see how the black one looks as you wear it in. We've seen how the leather of the brown looks after it's worn in a while, but both are going to be amazing. On the inside, you can have a large cash pocket on the left as well as three card slots. There's other improvements. These are actually a lot thinner and there's kind of like these perforations almost along the edges. Those ridges which make it just open and close a little bit easier than they did in the past. These are of course meant to be rugged cases so that TPU material that they use for the actual kind of snap on shell part is going to offer full protection around all the bottoms which a lot of cases don't do. Moving on to that rugged trifolio, this thing is brand new and has a ton of compartments. If you have a big wallet and you want to ditch that wallet and just use your phone case, this is that option. There are two pockets along the front, four card slots in there, and it all easily folds up nice and neat. It's going to look amazing over time and because there's nothing on the back, you can still use this with wireless charging or Apple Pay, any of that stuff without worrying about interference. The last one that we have to look at is the most simple and the most popular, the Rugged Case. Simply a leather case, but instead of just having leather wrap all the way around, it adds a little bit more protection by using that TPU material, it offers a little bit of screen protection by rolling around the front, offers coverage along the bottom, along the ports, along the buttons, stuff that other cases sometimes leave off, and gives you a little bit of coverage around the camera. It's also so much thinner than it was in the past. There's a huge improvement if you've seen their rugged case from before. Definitely slim this thing up a little bit while still keeping a lot of protection. As always with any minimally treated leather case, this thing is going to develop a really nice patina the more that you use it. One minor downside, it does not activate the phone when you open it up, something Apple's folios do, but we haven't seen too many third-party cases adopt. Spigen is a well-known name in the case world. They have very affordable cases and there's just a huge lineup that they've put out for the iPhone XS Max, as well as the iPhone XS, the XR, all those phones, but right now we're looking specifically at that XS Max. We've only picked out a few of their new cases. They have even more of this available online. So if you just like the quality, the look of these things, definitely go check out because there's a ton of different options. A few of the favorites of the ones that we got to play around with include this guy here, the Ultra Hybrid case. It has that clear back with rubber around the edges. It feels very, very solid. It allows you to see the back of your phone come through, see that Apple logo. It keeps things pretty minimalistic while offering some nice protection. They, of course, have a clear phone case. So if you've got maybe the gold color, you want to show that gold off, that would be a great option. Let that stainless steel gold come through. Or if you're looking for something a little bit more fitted, this is a really nice one. Tons of different options here. There's another fitted one, but this one's rigid and has a spot in the back for an actual magnet or a metal plate to go. So if you use it for like a magnetic mount or something, that could go in here without kind of pushing the case back. You also have one with a kickstand that's integrated. So it looks nice, got that shiny metal looking exterior with that kickstand built in. So if you prop your phone up a lot, that may be the perfect option for you. Another minimalistic one here, this is more of a pliable material but offers a lot of protection, still looks pretty handsome and keeps things relatively thin. Again, Spigen has a ton of different styles of cases. 
These are just a few and gives you a really wide gamut to play with. Toast is one that I was not sure how I was going to feel about. It's a very distinct case and they're all kind of laser cut and hand finish, but they're wooden cases, but they're almost like skins. They're actually adhesive and they attach to your phone. Very easy to attach and they're extremely detailed. And once I put it on, I kind of love this thing. There's many different styles and designs to choose from, including different woods. Here we have kind of a walnut one with almost like a feather emblem in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on our phone. It only takes a few seconds. We kind of held on the corners a little bit to make sure everything was sticking in place. Once we had everything adhered, it stayed on extremely well. It wasn't picking up lint in my pockets. It wasn't uncomfortable to hold. And you can see we have all these cutouts along the back. You could leave them open if you really wanted to, but we also have the option to put in kind of the different colors. You can mix and match these however you want to create your own pattern on the case. They give you eight of these different little pieces and you can choose the colors that you want and place them in the back of your phone. They are adhesive. There's parts on the back so they do stick into place. I kind of messed around with a few different color options so I kept them with the adhesive off the first time. But I really, really like it. It looks really unique. I haven't seen anything like this. It offers protection. It's super slim. And if you check out the upcoming iPhone XS video, there's actually some with metal integrated behind them. They look amazing. If you want, there are additional pieces to cover up the buttons, the SIM card slot, and the camera. And there's also one for the front of the phone. So you have full wooden protection. I do like adding it on the buttons, but I didn't bother adding it to the camera and I didn't bother adding it to the front. Those are really up to you. I just love the look of this on the back. We've obviously seen many different wooden cases. We've already featured one in this video, but this definitely takes it in a different direction. Clear cases are definitely in style this year. Even Apple is going to be offering their own clear case to go with the iPhone XR and let those colors shine through. If you have any of the new iPhone XS Max, it's going to come in that black, that silver, or the new gold color, and you really may want to let all that come through. You want to just kind of use the phone as it is and how it looks, but still get some protection. We've seen a lot of different companies offer up clear cases. This is the Just Clear from Tech 21. What makes it a little bit different, instead of just being a really thin case that snaps onto your phone, there's these little ridges that go down the sides on the inside, almost like ribs, and should give it a little bit of added protection should you ever, unfortunately, ever drop your phone. So it should add a little bit more protection than some of the other clear cases that are out there. Other than that, it's still just a clear case. So it doesn't look like too much, and it still keeps the original look and feel of your iPhone. Just make sure you polish your iPhone a little bit more than we did before you put this case on. In case is a name that we always associate in our heads to laptop sleeves and laptop cases, but they make amazing iPhone cases as well. Yes, they do have a clear case like a lot of other companies do, soft, pliable, snaps on really easily. It's great, but again, just a clear case, so just a little bit boring. But what we did love was this dual kind of textured look that we have here on their Coke textured snap case. This fabric, linen, textured material seems to be really in this year. We've seen a lot of different case manufacturers utilize it, but Incase has done it probably arguably the best. It's a simple, handsome case. The bottom is very grippy in your hand. Along the top, it just looks very minimalistic. Even the actual icons where the buttons are, you can barely even see them. They're there if you look for them, but at this point when you're using an iPhone, you kind of know where those volume and that power buttons are gonna be. If you really want that tactile feedback, this may not be the case for you because they do feel kind of lost under there, but you can definitely find them when you need to. In case says that fabric along the top is Woolenex, which is a lasting blend of abrasion resistant fabric that repels the elements. That means unlike a lot of the other fabric cases that we're gonna see, this one shouldn't fray as you use it over time. Berkeley has consistently made some of the best leather cases for iPhone and they have four new ones specifically for the iPhone XS Max. Without unboxing all these cases, I did want to take a look at the packaging for just a second here. I do love that when you open it up, you have this little suede bag with the actual case inside of that. There's a little quality assurance sticker that says this was hand checked, which is very important to a leather case instead of just a plastic one that comes off an assembly line. It is good to know there's a little bit more of a personal feel to these cases than other ones. They all look very unique because they're all kind of hand finished. We have four styles to go through, starting off with their wallet cases. The first one opens up horizontally, which is pretty standard for a wallet case. On the left hand side, we have a few different pockets, including a window for an ID. On the right, you have two additional card slots. It's held closed by a magnet, so you're not going to have to worry about anything coming open or cards coming out. 
think it's a little bit different than a lot of the other wallet cases that we see. If you'd rather one that opens vertically, you can do that, but I also want just to show off the amazing finish on this wallet. I love the look of this leather here. It's kind of pre-distressed before you even get it. It looks amazing. It's going to just look even better over time. Again, this one opens down. You have a slot there for some cash, two card slots, additional card slots, and an ID window there on the bottom. Just depending on your flow, you may like one that opens vertically or horizontally. Berkeley has you covered. What isn't covered, though, in pretty much most of these cases is all the different slots from the buttons to the bottom, which is something that we kind of prefer. I like keeping things open, something pretty minimalistic. This right here is one of my favorite cases of the entire video, has an amazing look to it and we're going to come back to it in a second. And the last one here has kind of a textured leather on the back that's sewed into place with like a TPU rubber bump around the edge and some suede microfiber on the inside. All color match with that really nice blue. As I said, that simple leather snap-on case was kind of one of my favorites. I love the look of it. Here's a couple of glamour shots. You can see the really nice burnishing going around the edges. It already looks amazing going onto your phone, and they even align it with leather instead of microfiber, which is an expense that they usually don't take. Silk has always advertised themselves as smart-ish, and that's what their new cases are. We have the Wallet Slayer. We've seen this in the past for a few years, call it Volume 1, but it's an all-rubber case, so there's no moving mechanical kind of parts in here that make this work, but it has a card slot along the back that can hold several different cards or cash, and it's kind of tension in there, so the cards don't slide out. You can press them aside, and they'll easily be removed. It's also a relatively slim case. It does add a little bit of bulk. I mean, you do have some card slots there on the back, you're not going to be able to use a wireless charger, but if you don't care about that, this is an awesome, very minimalistic case to keep your cards with you. Incipio has a wide range of cases with different looks and functionality, such as their dual pro case that has two different layers, a hard shell on the outside and a softer one on the inside for added protection. Comes in a few different colors. We have NGP, which is kind of their more, this is their clear case, another version of the popular clear case. The Octane Pure, which is a hard shell clear case, but it has different colors around the edges. In this case, it's like a rose color. We'll take a closer look at it in a minute. Another of our favorites in the entire lineup is part of their Esquire series. These are just kind of elevated cases rather than the normal snap-ons. And we'll take again a closer look. Similar to the Esquire series is their design series, which is a little bit more feminine skewing, but a really cool design that should look really amazing on the new gold iPhone XS Max. We have the feather case, which is a super thin case that just snaps on, offers good protection while minimal size. And then another color of the NGP, really thin and minimalistic case. It's flexible, but still offers a little bit of a tint, a little bit of a different color. So you've really seen all the cases we have from Incipio. I only want to focus on a couple of these that are really distinct from other ones that we've seen, which is these three here. Starting out with the simplest case, which is right there in the center, the Octane Pure. So this has that hard shell clear back and has rose sides, which would look really awesome if you have the silver or the gold. It doesn't do as much if you have the black, that space black color. It just doesn't show through as much, but it will look really cool on the other phones. Again, this one, this design series, this again should look fantastic on that gold iPhone XS. It's clear, but has that pattern printed on at the same time. Good protection, really neat designs, and one of the more feminine skewing out of the entire lineup that we have today. And then the Esquire series, one of my favorites out of the whole bunch, offers a lot of protection in this really amazing kind of like denim feel to the back of it. It has really good grip and it just looks nice. It looks very handsome and sets itself apart pretty well from kind of the bulk of the cases that we have. You can't call anything a case roundup without including OtterBox. OtterBox is one of the oldest standbys and offers some of the most protection for your iPhone. We have three different models to check out. We have the commuter that we saw, the Defender Pro, which includes like a holster, and then the Pursuit case, each with varying degrees of protection, different amounts of bulk added to your phone. Just depends on what you're looking for. So these are the three models. They come in a bunch of different colors, but they all pretty much fit the same kind of style. On the far left is the commuter, the on-the-go protection. So it tries not to be too bulky. It is a two-piece design, so there's actually kind of like a rubber layer that attaches to your phone and then a shell that snaps over top of that to keep it in place. Holds on very securely, adds a little bit of bulk rather than your normal case, but it adds a little bit more protection. You still have direct access to the screen and there's still direct access on the back to the logo as well as to the camera. 
the bottom ports do get covered up, especially the lightning connector, you have to open that up so there's no water debris that's going to get stuck in there. The Pursuit case is ultimate protection, they say. It adds definitely a little bit of a chin because it routes the audio forward, so it does cover up that entire bottom, including the lightning port. This may not work on certain docks because it does set the phone back a little bit, it adds that little bit of a chin, so you may have issues there but it's actually a little bit thinner than the commuter case. It does offer a little bit more protection and it does route the audio forward, which is really handy when you're watching a video or something, the audio is coming directly at you instead of out the bottom of your phone away. For the most protection, we have the Defender Pro. It does come with that belt clip so that protects the front of your phone when it is in that holster. It is by far the bulkiest design, but it should offer you the utmost protection of all OtterBox's cases. And contrary to some of the older ones and some of the other models that are still out there, you have direct access to the screen. So there's nothing covering the screen. So if you are worried about the display and you don't want to use the holster, you still may want a screen protector for that full 360 degree of protection. Many things do get covered up, including that toggle switch on the side and the lightning port on the bottom, though there is still direct access to the two speakers. Looking at them all side by side, you can see the different degrees of thickness, commuter on the left or on the bottom, the Pursuit in the center, and the Defender Pro on the top. I still don't love a lot of the exteriors of the OtterBox cases, but you really can't argue with the amount of protection. Case Defy, one simple option for us today, which is just another clear case. It does a really good job and they have a little few touches that other cases don't, including some different colors around the edge. In this case, it's just a black kind of bumper. It doesn't cover the entire edge, just a little bit of an accent, a little bit of added grip. We also have the Case Defy word mark going around the lens enclosure for the camera. I do like the look of this case when it's on there. I do like that it is a little bit flexible. It's not one of the clip-on clear cases that are a little bit more rigid. It has a little bit of flexibility to it, adds some good grip, protects the camera, protects the front when it's setting down. There's a little bit of an edge there, a little bit of a lip, so this is face down. It's not going to hurt that display at all. This is a very simple case, but Case Defy has a whole lot of other options, so be sure to check them out. Totally another one of the extremely minimalistic cases. This is as minimalist as you can get. Pretty much no logos, extremely, extremely thin. You don't even know that you have this thing on there. It just has that matte finish to it. We have the matte black, but there are other colors available, like a clear one that just pretty much fits on like a skin. It's kind of amazing and adds a little bit of a lip to the camera. So whenever it's down, that camera's not gonna get in the way and that camera's not gonna damage anything else that it happens to be sitting on because the edge can be a little sharp. If you're looking for just kind of protection to make sure nothing kind of smashes that back too easily or gets scratched up too much, these are excellent options. It really does just fit on the iPhone XS Max absolutely like a glove. Next up in our roundup is Xdoria. They have some amazing cases and they're being represented today by the Defense Shield case in a pretty great looking aluminum red color. I am a sucker for red, so this is right up my alley. It looks fantastic with that black iPhone XS Max and that anodized red edge. It does have a clear back and you can kind of tell it's a little bit stiffer, a little bit thicker than most of the other ones out there. So it should add more protection than most of the other clear cases. And of course it adds that accent color going around the outside. There are other colors available though I definitely dig the red one. There's a little bit of a lip on the front as well. So it gives it a little bit more curved protection covers the buttons on the sides and even the bottom of the phone. Speaking of the bottom of the phone, like a few of the others, they are routing that audio forward. So the mic stays the same, but the speakers, which are on that right hand side, get routed forward. It makes a big difference whenever you're watching movies, videos, anything with audio, just because that audio comes towards you instead of away from you. What I love about this case is it lets the iPhone shine through. You're seeing the Apple logo, they have the glass back, but still allowing you to use things like wireless charging and Apple Pay. And though it does cover the size, it replaces it with that anodized metal that kind of adds a nice contrast than just a rubber bumper. Following Xdoria is Pitaka. Pitaka makes an Aramid fiber case. It's extremely thin, not as thin as the Totally case that we saw or Peel cases, but very, very thin. But it does it while being exceptionally solid, rugged, and durable. And has a few other kind of hidden features going on on the inside. This is kind of an amazing case, even though it looks so unassuming. It looks a little bit like carbon fiber, and it's very similar to that. It's super strong, and you can totally notice right when you have it. It's also extremely light, so when you have this on your phone, you barely notice a difference in the added weight. 
putting this on super simple there's a little bit of a lip around the camera which does two things protects the camera a little bit when it's setting with the screen side up and the camera down and protects anything that the phone might be setting on again there's a little bit of a sharp edge to that camera module so it could scratch anything that you have lying below it this does not cover your screen pitaka makes some screen covers as well plenty of people make screen covers so you can add that into the bundle to kind of complete the package now a few of the kind of hidden things that are going on here that i love there's actually a metal plate embedded in the fiber that allows it to work with many magnetic holsters out there whether it's in your car on your desk anything like that this can easily snap to not only does it have that metal plate embedded on the inside it's actually kind of in a different shape so it can still work with wireless chargers here you can see how that kind of works there's just kind of those metal plates along the top and bottom attaches to any magnetic chargers magnetic mounts pitaka has some great ones out there so check those out but any other magnetic mount will work just fine urban armor gear uag as their company knows makes some extremely flashy cases and one of our favorites is the monarch series comes in a few colors again happen to be biased towards that really striking red and it looks even better once you get this out of the box because a little bit of a frosted effect on the front but they combine a lot of premium materials into a really great looking feeling and protective case there are five total layers to this case though it still remains fairly slim you can see the protective corners that are going to protect against any drops you have grips along the sides that is top grain leather below this metal frame on the front and in each of the corners there are actual metal screws holding this thing together inside it's fairly minimalistic nothing too flashy no suede microfiber anything like that just kind of their proprietary rubberized material and that uag logo once more even though this thing has metal and those five different layers this is still 100 percent apple pay and wireless charging compatible on the protection front not only does this look like it's very protective it is it meets twice the military drop test standards this thing should outlast your phone easily as it comes with a 10 year limited warranty you're going to have this case far longer than you're actually going to probably have your iphone 10s max as far as colors go this is the crimson color but it also comes in black and carbon fiber carbon fiber replaces that premium top grade leather with carbon fire also looks very striking the monarch line is the flagship line for uag so if you love the look and feel but you want to keep things a little bit cheaper more in budget check out the pathfinder or the plasma series they look really similar but they don't have so many materials and layers going on another of our favorites here at apple insider is alto they use italian leather and other premium materials in their cases and all their other products you may have been familiar with them from our recent apple watch band review we had a lot of questions about it and you can see the similar build quality in their cases they're also bringing back kind of linen fabric denim -y materials on their new line they still have the leather you can see the black and the caramel here that's the same caramel as my watch band that you've been seeing really great cases some with pockets like here's like the metro one some that have a strap option available and others that are just simple with no card pockets or anything like that just premium materials they fit on super super well they have openings along the bottom and on the edges again something we prefer for kind of minimalist cases that balance protection and looks we don't have any here to show you but they're also known for their vivid colors they have bright coral greens that just look amazing so if you're looking for something vivid and premium check out alto life proof cases which are part of otterbox are another popular option for someone looking to really protect their phone and life has been coming out with some more stylized options we have two today the next which is the one on the bottom and the slam which is this one here on the top they're pretty much clear cases but with added protection and added some design elements so on the slam case you can see they have that feather pattern along the back and on the next case we have that green border along the edges these are not simple snap-on cases either they offer a lot of protection you can see the little slot here on the side you can use a coin or the included key that you actually have to use to open these cases up to take your phone in and out there's protection on the bottom though the next case has a little bit more protection where it actually covers the lightning port to put your phone in you use the key or the coin to open the case up set the phone in then snap it all together this is going to make sure your phone does not come out should it ever gets into a precarious situation offers a little bit more protection around the edges and around the front of the phone if you ever need to remove your phone simply pull out a nickel or the keys that are included in the box and just twist and they'll pop right open even though there's still direct access to the screen lifeproof really makes a good point of sealing these cases best they can keeping out any dirt dust debris that may attempt to get in there and mess up any of your buttons or your ports 
Obviously, many other colors and patterns are available than the two that you see here. Just Mobile is represented with their Tank Air Case, another clear iPhone case out there. Again, really popular this year, seeing a lot of these guys. We also have their screen protector, it's their X-Skin 3D, a super awesome screen protector that really helps on the new phones, kind of going edge to edge that you don't see as much with your other screen protectors that just kind of sit along the front, helps really with the curved edges. Design is pretty common here, just a clear case, fits on very well like a glove, there's only a small little JM on the lower side that kind of gives off a logo, other than that it's a completely clear case, adds protection around the camera lens at the top, and there's a slight pattern on the inside you can barely even tell. So that is it. That is our epic roundup. Over 50 cases, over a dozen manufacturers, different styles, colors, wood, leather, plastic, molded, rubber, silicone, all sorts of different things going on. And I hope you're able to find one in here that you like. We'll do our best to put the links down below so you can find one for yourself. And please, please, please let us know down in the comments which one of these is your favorite or if we didn't show off your favorite, which one it happens to be. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.